Hey, what's up everybody? Nick here with another video. So I went to use my wheelbarrow today and realized that my tire was flat. So I hooked up my air compressor to it and you'll see it's not taking any air and I can run it until the compressor kicks on, but you can see it's completely and totally unseated. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick little trick today that I learned a while back. It's a little bit dangerous, but if you know what you're doing and you know how to be careful, then it will work. So stay tuned. All right, so as you might have guessed from the title of the video, we are gonna be using propane to reseat this tire. And I have here a little propane torch, and it's got a nice little trigger ignition. So you just turn the gas on with the trigger and then pull it down the rest of the way, and the torch comes on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a little bit of propane into this unseated tire here, just like this. You just stick it in past the bead and let some air or some propane go in. Now propane's heavier than air, so I will turn the tire around just a little bit once I get all the propane in there that I want. And you don't want to use too much not only because you can explode yourself, but if you totally fill that cavity with propane, then there won't be any room for the air, which is what the propane needs to burn. So then here we'll, you just barely stick the end in there because it's going to push it out when it ignites, and, and it's seated. Uh-oh, my stem came off. You want to be very quick as you go to inflate once you get it seated. Oh, you can hear my compressor kicking on, but you can see I have it at about 20 PSI now, and that should actually drop because when the propane ignites, it gets really hot and expands a lot, and then one, as it cools down, the pressure will drop because that's just what happens. Temperature and pressure are related. So you can actually overfill it a little bit while it's hot, maybe up to 30, 35 PSI here. And it's now holding air perfectly. Feels nice and firm, nice and round. And that's it. That's the least dangerous way I've thought to do it. You can do it using like lighter fluid or starting fluid, but propane, with propane, the reaction happens so quickly that there's little risk of it continuing to burn after that initial whoop of the flame. And so it seats the tire perfectly, and you either want to be quick to get your attachment hooked up to pump it full of air afterwards or go ahead and just have it attached already and it'll work 100% of the time. That's it. If you guys like this video, if it helped you out, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, let me know why in the comments down below and please subscribe to keep this channel alive and to see more videos like this.